fiddler on the roof. Sounds crazy, no? But in our little village of Anatevka, you might say, every one of us is a fiddler on the roof, trying to scratch out a pleasant, simple tune without breaking his neck. Now, you may ask, why do we stay up there if it's so dangerous? Well, we, we stay because Anatevka is our home. And how do we keep our balance? That I can tell you in one word. Tradition! We've kept our balance for many years. Here in Anatevka, we have traditions for everything. How to eat, how to sleep, how to wear clothes. Uh, for instance, we always keep our heads covered and we always wear a little prayer shawl. This shows our constant devotion to God. <laughs> uh, you, know, you may ask, uh, how did this tradition get started? I'll tell you. It, mm, well, no, oh, I don't know. But it's a tradition. And because of our traditions, everyone here knows who he is and what God expects him to do. Who day and night must scramble for a living, feed a wife and children, say his daily prayers, and who has the right as master of the house to have the final word at home? The Papa! Important, our beloved rabbi. 
Rabbi, may I ask you a question? Why, certainly, my son. Is there a proper blessing for the Tsar? A blessing for the Tsar, of course. May God bless and keep the Tsar far away from us. <laughs> <laughs> His Honor, the Constable. His Honor, the Priest. His Honor, well, many others. We don't bother them, and so far they don't bother us. Of course, there, there was a time when he promised him a mule, but well, uh, promised him a horse, but he delivered a mule. But that's all settled now. Now we live in simple peace and harmony. Of course, it was a mule. It was a horse! It was a mule! No, it was a horse! It was a mule! Our lives would be as shaky as, well, as a fiddler on their roof. when he'll be home, all day long, riding on the top of his wagon like a prince. Mama, you know Papa works hard. His horse works harder, and you don't have to defend your Papa to me. I know him for longer than you. He could drive a person crazy. He should only live and be well. Uh, Sprinza, bring me some more potatoes. Kava, did you finish milking? Yes, Mama. You were reading again. Why does a girl have to read? Will it bring her a better husband? Here. Mama, Yant is coming. She's down the road. I wonder if she's finally found a match for you, Zaitl. From your mouth to God's ears. Well, why does she have to come now? It's almost Sabbath. Go finish in the barn. I want to talk to Yenta alone. Mama, can I go out and play? You have feet. Go. Can I go too? Go too. But Mama, the men she finds. The last one was so old. He was bald. He had no hair. A poor girl with no dowry can't be so particular. You want hair, you marry a monkey. <laughs> After all, Mama, I'm not yet 20 years old and it's Shut, shut! Do you have to boast about your age? Do you want to tempt the evil eye? Go! Go, the darling. I had to see you because I have such news for you. And not just every day of the week news. No, once in a lifetime news. And uh, where are your daughters? Outside, no. Good, good. Such diamonds, such jewels. You'll see, Golda. I'll find a husband for every one of them. But you can't be too picky. Even the worst husbands, God forbid, is still better than no husband. God forbid. And who should know better than me? Ever since my husband died, I've been a poor widow, all alone, no one to talk to, nothing to say to anyone. It's no life. At night, all I do is think of him. And even thinking of him gives me no pleasure, because you know as well as I, he was not much of a man. Never made a living. Everything he touched turned to mud. But better than nothing. Uh, good evening. Is Idol in the house? But she's busy. You can come back later. Oh, there's something I'd like to ask her, you see. Later. Model, I thought I heard you. I was, I told her. Finish what you were doing. I said later. 
Peter! All right. <laughs> what does that poor little tailor Marta want with Zytel? They've been friends since they were babies together. They talk, they play. They play? What do they play? Who knows? They're just children. From such children come other children. <laughs> Mato? He's a nothing. Yenta, you said. Oh, children, children, they are your blessing in your old age. My Aaron couldn't give me children. Believe me, he was good as gold. Never raised his voice. But other than that, he was not much of a man. So what good is it if he never raised his voice? But what's the use in complaining? Other women like complaining, but not Yenta. Not every woman is a Yenta. Well, I must go prepare my poor Sabbath table, but it was a pleasure talking our hearts out to each other, Golda. Yenta, you said you had news for oh, me. Of course, the news. I'm losing my head. One day we'll fall off altogether and a horse will kick it in the mud and goodbye, Yenta. Oh, of course, it's about Laser Wolf, the butcher. A good man, a fine man. I don't, I don't have to tell you he's well off. <sighs> but he's lonely, the poor man. You understand. Of course you do. To keep it short, out of the whole town, he's cast his eye on Zytel. My Zytel? No, the Tsar Zytel. Of course you're Zytel. Such a match for my Zytel. Uh, but, but Tevye wants a learned mm. man. He does not like laser. Send Tevye to him. Don't tell him what it's about. The laser discuss it for himself. He's a good man, a wealthy man. Laser will convince him. So, you don't, you'll tell me how it went. And you don't have to thank me, Golda, because aside from my fee, which laser will pay, it brings me satisfaction to make people happy. What greater satisfaction is there? So goodbye, Golda, and you're welcome. What did she want, Mama? Uh, what I want you to know, I'll tell you. Uh, finish washing the floors. I wonder if Yenta found a husband for you. I'm not anxious for Yenta to find me a husband. Not unless it's Model the tail. I didn't <laughs> ask you. Zaito, you're the oldest. They have to arrange a match for you before they can make one for me. And then have to have one for me. So if Yenta brings... Oh, Yenta, Yenta. Well, somebody has to arrange the matches. Young people can't decide these things for themselves. She might bring someone wonderful. Someone interesting. And well off. And important. Match make her, match make her, make me a match. Find me a find, catch me a catch. Match make her, match make her, look through your book and make me a perfect match. Match make her, match make her, I'll bring the veil. You'll bring the groom, slender and pale. Bring me a ring for I'm longing to be the envy of all I see. For Papa, make him. Matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a find, catch me a catch. Night after night in the dark, I go alone. So find me a match of my own. Since when are you interested in a match, Hava? I thought you just had your eye on your books. <laughs> and you, your eye on the rabbi's son. Why not? We only have one rabbi, and he only has one son. Why shouldn't I want the best? Because you're a girl from a poor family. So whatever Yenta brings, you'll take. Right? Of course, right. Hoddle, oh Hoddle, how I have a match for you. He's handsome, he's young. All right, he's 62, but he's a nice man of good cats. True? True. I promise you'll be happy, and even if you're not, there's more to life than that. Don't ask me what. Hava, I found him. Won't you be a lucky bride? He's handsome, he's tall. That is from side to side, but he's a nice man of good get right? Right. You heard he has a temper. He'll beat you every night, but only when he's sober. So you're all right. Did you think you'd get a prince? Well, I do the best I can. With no dowry, no money, no family background. Be glad you've got a man. Matchmaker, matchmaker, you know that I'm 
God, did you have to have my horse lose his shoe just before the Sabbath? You see, that was not nice. No, I mean, it's enough you pick on me, Tev. You bless me with five daughters and a life of poverty. But uh, what have you got against my horse? <laughs> oh, I know I should be thankful for him. <laughs> I mean, he, he can't help it. He's just a horse. <laughs> ah. ah, Oh, he's finally here, my breadwinner. I'll talk to you later, okay? And where's your horse? He had an appointment with the blacksmiths for the Sabbath. Hurry up. The sun won't wait for you, and I have something to say to you. Uh, as the good book says, Heal us, O oh Lord, and we shall be healed. In other words, send us the cure. We have the sickness already. Oh, I know you've made many, many poor people, but wouldn't it be nice if maybe you gave me just a, a little fortune? Ah? Huh? <laughs> If I were a rich man, yabba dibba 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 dum. All day long I'd biddy biddy bum. If I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard, yabba dibba 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 dum. All day long I'd biddy biddy bum. If I were a wealthy man. I'd build a big tall house with rooms by the dozen right in the middle of the town. A fine tin roof and real wooden floors below. And there would be one long staircase just going up and one even longer coming down. <laughs> and one more leading nowhere just for sure. I'd fill my yard with chicks and turkeys and geese and ducks for the town to see and hear, squawking just as noisily as they can. And each loud would land like a trumpet on the ear, as if to say, here lives a wealthy man. Oh, if I were a rich man, yabba dibba 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 dum. All day long I'd biddy biddy bum. If I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. Yabba dibba 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 dum. Ill day if I were biddy biddy rich. Yiga digga diddle diddle man. I see my wife, my gold, eh? Looking like a rich man's wife with a proper double chin. <laughs> Supervising meals to her heart's delight. <laughs> I see her putting on airs, strutting like a peacock. Oh, <laughs> what a happy mood she's in. <laughs> Screaming at the servants day and the night. The most important men in town will come to fawn on me. They will ask me to advise them. Like a Solomon the wise, if you please, Reptavia, pardon me, Reptavia, posing problems that would cross a rabbi's eyes. La -dee, la -dee, la -da. 
And it won't make one bit of difference if I answer right or wrong. Cause when you're rich, they think you really know. If I were rich, I'd have the time that I lack to sit in the synagogue and pray and maybe have a seat by the eastern wall and I discuss the holy books with the learned men seven hours every day now that would be the sweetest thing of all oh. If I were a rich man, all day long I'd be a bit of bomb. If I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. Yabba diva 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 dum. Lord, who made the lion and the lamb, you decreed I should be what I am. Would it spoil some vast eternal plan if I were a wealthy man? I forgot my order for the Sabbath. Remember, I had a little accident with my horse. Javier, you didn't bring the rabbi. 